right behind us. Oh my god. Run, 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 run please. <laughs> In the next 10 years, humans will most likely be living on Mars, which so far looks really not fun. Wow! So for the next 50 hours, I'm gonna be surviving in a real life Mars simulation. Now NASA was nice enough to let us use their actual Mars simulation, which simulates what Mars would be like after 100 years of having humans on it building. And while we're simulating 100 years, my friends are gonna be simulating day one of humans on Mars peculiar situation we're in. We get the worst situation every time. While Eric and Beans are living the lavish life of what Mars would be like in about a hundred years, you and I are representing what it would be like when mankind first landed here. So, there is nothing here yet. It's just us in this box. This box allegedly contains everything we need to survive on Mars for the next 50 hours. I hope to God that there's shelter in there. And water. It's so hot. And women. Wait, you, you're in a relationship. All right, let's open this box. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Nice. I was holding my breath that whole time. What? Within this simulation, NASA has detailed five specific missions to give us the most realistic take on what life on Mars would actually look like. And even though some are a lot of fun, life is a some of them show the dark sides of living on Mars. This might take all night, man. I'm scared to say that. Seeing that our time has already started, we're gonna start mission one, which is explore the base. I hear you loud and clear. What are you looking at right there? Is that the alien lady from Monsters, Inc.? It sure is. This is an outdoor oasis dome. Tyler, this is one small shelter for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now you probably noticed the oxygen meter on the side of the screen here. Basically, since the boys are simulating the first day on Mars, they won't have unlimited oxygen like we do hundreds of years in the future. So their simulation will completely rely on them finishing objectives to refill their oxygen. Or else they die in a simulation. Of course, not real life. <laughs> So this base is actually huge and it's made from the dirt around us. As you can see, at 100 years on Mars, we would have had all kinds of time to bring furniture. There's even bedrooms. Why is mine a dog bed? You're like dog sized. I mean, there's, there's big dogs too. Next we have our kitchen with the Mars refrigerator, Mars oven, Mars coffee maker. And Mars anxiety. What? And last, but certainly not least, the rover. This baby goes 50 miles an hour and I'm gonna flip it before this video is over. This is just a movie prop. Yeah, they actually said the last guy to sit in this was Brad Pitt. So there's not a lot of difference between, you know, me and him. Except for like the money, right. the <laughs> success, mm -hmm. or the happiness and wife. Okay, I get it. Mac, we just made it to step two. This took a whole hour for step one, and there's 30 steps. You know what that means, Mac? We're not gonna finish this base before we run out of oxygen. <sighs> What are you doing? It's so hot. I know it is. Why do you say we just lay down and die? Whoa. Interstellar exercise? That's right, babe. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Honestly, being in the middle of nowhere in this spacesuit feels like I could be on a different planet. This simulation is easy peasy. I'm gonna pass out. I'm so tired. Ugh. Get this shit. Mac, I don't feel so good. Ugh. Holy shit. Oh my god, that sun is low. It's been a long day. We're catching our first Mars sunset. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. It's going down. Hey. Hey. I love you. I love you too, bro. We've only been on Mars for like eight hours so far. Is there anything you're excited for? Honestly, I'm pretty excited to get out of this suit. Agreed. Let's go inside. Ugh. Uh. Yeah. These suits make everything in life probably two or three times harder. Yeah, it's like marriage. Obviously we have oxygen inside the base so we can take our suits off in here. I know some of my friends aren't so fortunate. All right, once we make this airtight, we can take the helmets off. Oh my God. Mac. Take this thing off. Man, astronaut suits for 12 hours in like 100 degrees. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. How's that feel? It feels crazy. Oh my god. That was the worst 12 hours of my life. I did just get our next mission on here, which is find food. All right. <laughs> I have been waiting for this one. I'm so hungry. Okay, so we're in the kitchen right now where the basis of all food is water. What right? about ketchup? What about ketchup? Yeah, our bodies are 70% ketchup. No, what? <laughs> Mars is known for not having any water, which makes humans living here pretty difficult. But this is all solved by a little thing called hydrosis. Oh, how'd you do that? You like the little word? Yeah, can I have one? 
Yeah, try. Catch up. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So this machine right here looks pretty scientific. Basically it takes in the hydrogen and the oxygen out of the air, combines them, and then literally makes water. So after humans have been on Mars for a while, we'll all have machines like this where we just basically create our own water. Why are we supposed to believe you? Because I'm a YouTuber. Get some freaking water in us. 12 hours of dehydration. Mmm. Mac, 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 Mac. This is all the water we have. I understand that. Oh, Mac, Mac. For dinner tonight, we have a five course meal starting with Beyond Meatball Marinara, Herb and Cheese Ravioli. Oh my God. Mexican Stir Fry, Garlic Shrimp Tempura. If you don't know, Beans is my childhood friend. And for course number five, I have a little present for you. It's our childhood favorite. It's gotta be ketchup. Strawberry ice cream. Oh man. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> this is the best day of my life. I gotta find out what a Cran Raspberry Energy Bar tastes like, Tyler. What the F is that? I had a slight hit of dog food. All right, I'm bringing my ice cream with me. Ugh. I actually had a great time today on Mars. This is not so bad. Right now, SpaceX's plan is to have people on Mars by the year 2029. That is not that far away. So our goal with this video is to simulate what Mars will be like so that you out there can decide whether or not Mars would be a good move for you. Mm, it's a good move for me. We are only 12 hours in, so you've got plenty of time to make your decision. I'm going to sleep. Sleeping pads. You think Eric's sleeping on a pad tonight? About a three foot thick mattress, maybe. <laughs> it's not even soft. Tyler. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning, man. With everyone exhausted resting after their first day on Mars, we didn't realize the challenges had only just begun. Welcome back to Mars. So I'm very rested and ready for the next mission. I don't know about Sam, though. Sam. Hey, man. Hey, Tyler. Welcome back. Welcome back to another day on Mars. <sighs> Once we were in the shelter, we refilled our oxygen, and now we're running out again. Mac, it's very, very hot right now. Well, Tyler, it says the next mission here is to entertain ourselves. Entertain yourself. Yeah. I like this one. I can do that. Little did Beans know the entertainment would be coming to us. I thought we were the only ones here. <laughs> Who do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> Who are you? Who's making fun? So Aleka's my neighbor back at Earth, and I figured that part of establishing the colony of Mars is bringing up the next generation of Martians. Yeah, but we don't know anything. How are we supposed to teach him? No, we know some stuff. Your whole life, you think you're the little guy, but today you have to be the big man, okay? Oh! So we're in the middle of finding ways to entertain ourselves right now. So are you down to try to do some fun stuff? Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I love this guy. I'm gonna move for waffles. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. Oh! 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 Gordon Ramsay, try me, bro. Cheers. Mars, <laughs> baby. Mars. I am so hot. I am just dying right now. What was the mission again? We're supposed to be entertaining ourselves. I think we're actually just killing ourselves. Uh. All right, boys, I've got something very exciting to show you. They say there's no water on Mars, right? Yeah. But after 100 years... Hey. What? What is this? When we populate Mars, we're gonna bring plants here, use hydrosis to actually build an atmosphere. Which means that we get water, but we also get... What? Oxygen. <sighs> Why did you say this as soon as we got here? I have lost 10 pounds in sweat. You guys wanna jump in the pool? I mean, yeah. yeah. All right, so... Yeah! yeah. Come on! <laughs> what? <laughs> There's literally nobody cheering for you. <laughs> well, fellas, I kind of love Mars. Great place. <laughs> <laughs> we were hammering rocks with sticks so they could be hammering sticks with rocks. You know what I mean? That was the worst quote I've ever heard. I promise you that the comments are going to be flooding with how much that quote changed their lives. No one comment that. So we're watching Ad Estrada, the movie where our rover was used to watch our boy Brad Pitt actually drive it. Okay, I have an idea, guys. We go recreate this right now. Mars is kind of pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Ergo, stop flying on Mars! I am fearful for our lives right now! This is what I call a space hammer. Why do you call it that, Tyler? Because I found it in space. Man, I love this thing. Beans, like, I'm gonna keep it 100. Like, get out of here. What? Get out! 
Why'd you do that? He was not matching the vibe. Now that it's just you and me, I wanted to tell you I have a little gift for you. Really? What is it? Yeah, here, hang on. This custom. Oh my god! Arak Mission to Mars t shirt. That's beautiful! I literally made this just for you. This might be the coolest shirt I ever had. The design is actually sick. Can you let me back in? We're in the middle of something, bro. We're just gonna kind of take off here. So I actually designed that shirt and the website I'm selling it on on Shopify. The catchphrase of Shopify is you can start a business anywhere. And I literally started a business on Mars. So if you're looking to make a little extra more cash, Shopify is your thing on Mars and on Earth. Facts. <laughs> Wait. Using Shopify's tools, it's super easy to start a business. As you guys probably know, I've started multiple businesses on Shopify. What about now? I want to let them back okay, in. Keep driving. Keep driving. <laughs> Website building is hard, but with Shopify, you can build, manage, and run your entire business from your phone. I mean, Shopify is so great. It's like it was my mother. You're telling me Shopify is your biological mother. Mafia, go grab some Mars merch before it sells out. And if you're interested in starting your own business online, you can use the link in my description to try Shopify today. And while we continue to torment beans, the day one boys were gearing up for their final mission. And the final mission is establish communication. We may not have any oxygen left, but there is someone who does. Elon Musk. Not quite. Eric Decker. This is Starlink. Starlink is one of the most efficient satellites in the world. It's also the most important item from the emergency crate because it is the only way they will complete their final mission. For the satellite to work properly, it needs to be placed on the highest point in a geographical mile. We are not in the highest point in a geographical mile. I'm no weatherman, Tyler, but that over there looks like the tallest point within the square mile. I would agree with you, but I don't know what a weatherman has to do with tallest points. We should probably start hiking right now. I'm down, baby. All right, come on, let's go. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Peace. Day two on Mars, complete. Genuinely had one of the best days hanging out with these guys. I'm excited to sleep and go back tomorrow. Good night. Things were not looking good for the boys. It turns out carrying a satellite would be a lot harder than they thought. Come on, Mac. Push. This might take all night, man. I was scared you'd say that. And eventually, reality began to set in. I think we need to stop for a sec. We're getting really exhausted. Good old space nap, and hopefully, we can finish this before we run out of oxygen. I am absolutely wiped. I cannot imagine what it's like for Mac and Tyler right now. I feel guilty, but maybe they're having fun. I don't know. Sun is rising. Oh. With the last bit of oxygen remaining, the boys had two options. Get to the top of this mountain and make contact with me, or fail the simulation. Oh, yeah. Come on, Tyler! Oh. Let's go, buddy! Keep going. Keep going another 25 yards. Oh, Mac, we're actually about here. You ready to set up a Starlink satellite? Yeah, yeah. This is the satellite right here. It's on the tallest point. It's being powered via pack right here. And if we look on the Wi-Fi right here, you'll see that we are connected to a Starlink satellite. Call Eric Decker. Eric! Boys, I've been waiting for this call. Sam and I felt horrible that you guys were out there. We are 20 minutes away from running out of air. You guys want me to come pick you up? That'd be, that'd be awesome. I'm more than happy to come help. The coordinates are 772 degrees north, 24 degrees west. Okay, all right, we're coming. I'm honestly relieved that they called. I've been so worried about them. So we're gonna suit up and jump in the rover like right now. All right, here you go, boys. The coordinates say they're like right here somewhere. Oh, those boys do not look good. Boys! Oh, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. How we doing? Oh my God. Are you okay? It's oh good to see gosh. you. Are you okay? I'm not. Who, who is that? Aleko. He's our neighbor. Oh, what? Our neighbor's here? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of happy to see you. I want to kill you way less than I thought I would. <laughs> In the end, we both completed our Mars simulations to a T. And even though the boys had it a little harder than we did, I appreciate how seriously you guys took this. We were out there, bro. We need water so bad. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide whether or not you try living on Mars. Comment below and let me know. I'm actually curious. I'll press that button right there. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs>